wonderful world. We are happy to be back for episode 48 with Brooklyn-based DJ Lily Kay. Coming from a diverse family and musical background, Lily Kay brings a unique musical variety that has no borders. She has been staying busy building a strong Twitch following and expanding to tour San Francisco and LA this year. Stay locked in to meet Lily Kay and enjoy her musical medley here on Wonderful Radio. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Silly Girl Carmen. We are back for another episode of Wonderful Radio. And today I'm happy to be speaking to DJ Lily Kay. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Um, I do like to let our listeners know for reference where are you originally from and then where are you currently based? So I'm originally from Germany, Germany. And, and I moved to I moved Brooklyn to- six years ago. So I'm nice. in Brooklyn. Awesome, awesome. Um, so let's jump right into this. How long have you been DJing and what do you love most about it? I uh, actually am yeah. pretty new to this. I started DJing it's over one and a half years almost two years now okay and uh what i love the most is music has always been always been part of my life life pretty early early on on. my entire family family. is a family of musicians and i grew up with it so it was always around and i come from an acting background so um during those times of like acting training and acting studies music was always like part of how I you know uh, how I did a lot of things in acting as well as well well. so like so like music was always around I also was part of a radio in Germany so I had my uh, own show I did playlists and it was just always around somehow but I never had the guts to start DJing because I thought oh I wouldn't be able to use this Mm-hmm. Um, and then finally, like about two years ago, I was like, you know what? I need to try it at least. Mm-hmm. And now it's it's been the biggest, biggest blessing, blessing to me, honestly, that I finally started. And the best thing is to that you can be so honest with music and how you choose your music. So it's, yeah, every DJ has like their own style whether it's the same genre or not but everyone has their own style and choices of tracks and that's that's i think is really beautiful to get to know other djs and people through music too yeah awesome awesome i love that yeah i i think i feel like i've recently been finding more djs that are on the newer side of it so it's just cool to to speak to people who are in the beginning of their journey um so i love that Um, how would you describe your musical style? Um, or sorry, uh, what, what do you love most about being in Brooklyn? Well, so many things, so many things. I mean, it's been six years, so, um, uh, I think in the beginning it was just cool, you know, like, oh, there's so much to do in comparison to how I lived in Germany. But now having lived here for six years and really settled in Brooklyn, I have to say it's just it's so free just I think if you go to an event or whatever in Brooklyn, there's always something happening first of all, second Second, everyone is expressing expressing themselves themselves so free free. freely and uh, I love seeing that, there's so many people expressing themselves so creatively in Brooklyn in whatever art form and it's so cool Like every day you can see something yeah yeah that's awesome yeah i i've stayed in uh brooklyn uh, through the summers in in some past years and yeah i love the the, there definitely is like an artsy community um you know and yeah you get like a lot of good creative energy from it and just being out and around people is like a good feeling in the summer you know absolutely yeah i love that um so let's see, what advice would you give new DJs when it comes to preparing a killer set? What, what have you learned as being a newer DJ? And- right. Um, I really think I really that think- being honest in whatever genre is so important or will make it more fun for you anyways. But like, because I remember... I started, you know, pretty much open format and like trying things out. 
but then you very quickly develop like you know what your lane is kind of right mm -hmm. so then but then when i was asked to do um for example like uh, a 90s set, 90s set i was like okay i could go and like find the typical you know tracks that are played in a 90s set sure but then i tried to be honest to myself and see also like okay but if i would dig deeper into 90s music which ones would i pick personally right and i think that makes a huge difference um so much more fun for yourself and for other people too mm -hmm. because there might be things you know there might be tracks might where be people tracks. are like oh i forgot about that or like that's not typically played but i love this i forgot about this track so being yeah. honest in whatever genre and try it out try different genres out because there's always something that is you in any genre i believe mm -hmm. yeah definitely i definitely agree with that i i recently was sharing some advice as well and that was part of kind of my same thought of just like be authentic to the music you choose yeah. you know like because i think it's easy when we do start we're looking at like well what's popular what are on these charts and you're like oh, okay so that's yeah. like maybe what people want to hear but once you start experiencing it and playing for people you're like i gotta play what feels good so i can resonate and yeah. share that with people so because while i while i do believe that it is important to like you said like check out you know the charts and like what's being played i always think that's, always important, think that's important to important. see yeah. first but then really making it yours is yeah. definitely important yeah awesome awesome all right, we're going to wrap it up with one more question. Um, what is a dream festival, event, or a back-to-back -back performance you would like to manifest for your career? Of course, there's so many like festivals and events, but one that is so close to my heart. Um, um, I used to live used in to live Japan okay. for three years before I came to New York. Nice. And uh, I lived in Osaka, and Osaka had, has this festival Summer Sonic, which also mm -hmm. happens in Tokyo. And I used to work there um, as a photographer. And I remember, I just love festivals. And I remember back then I was thinking like one day I would love to play at Summer Sonic. And so and that, would be, one. that would be one. And a back-to-back -back back set back. with my favorite glass pedals and Felix Cartel mm. would be a dream. That yeah. would be a dream. That would be just yeah yeah nice nice that's super yeah. dope that's really cool to uh, learn that you lived in tokyo for a while that was probably a cool yeah, yeah. cool culture experience for sure in, 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 osaka, in osaka but like yeah. i've been to tokyo oh, yes. as well. yeah yeah awesome awesome and yeah i'm definitely going to check that festival out i'm the same way i just love like any of the festival culture this it's just all exciting so there's yeah. there's so yeah. it's crazy to find out about so many different festivals too like yeah. There, yeah. there's fun stuff going on everywhere so i love it well, thank you so much, Lily Kay, for coming thank on you. here. Yes, we look forward to um, hearing your mix and playing it for the people. And we look forward to seeing what you do next in your journey. Thank you so much for having, for having me. Yes, have a good one. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.